The Magic Garden, Part 3 Near Coral Castle in the real Magic Garden game, Baby Tiddlywinks is held prisoner by a tree. Help! Help! Let me go, you horrid tree! wept poor Baby Tiddlywinks. What's going on? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? said a squirrel crossly. Little ponies shouldn't come to the terrible forest as night falls. Where are you going? We're trying to find the dragon in Coral Castle, said Hopscotch. Can you help us? What should we do? Throw one twice, and your friend will be freed, and then you can each take a wish star lantern to guide you, said Sam the squirrel. Happy hooves! Now we can see as clear as day, said the baby pony. We're almost at the castle gates now. But the gates were guarded by Snap the dragon who breathed flames at them. We'll go back a little, Hopscotch said. We'll never get in, said the baby pony. Yes, we will. Our star lanterns can grant wishes. We'll fly in, said Hopscotch. But how can we fly in? asked Baby Tiddlywinks. I knew we'd need our counters. We'll turn them into flying cushions, Hopscotch said with a little smile. Take us in through the castle window, wished Baby Tiddlywinks, waving her wish star lantern about. Heavy hooves, we're flying over the castle, said Baby Tiddlywinks. You didn't say which castle? sighed Hopscotch sadly. Look, the cushions are taking us back to Dream Castle, cried the baby pony. Now I'll never see Periwinkle. But in the throne room the ponies got a lovely surprise. Majesty was holding a party for a princess named Periwinkle. Come and meet Princess Periwinkle, said Majesty. She's been talking to Spike long enough, and she loves games. I am so glad to meet you at last, laughed Baby Tiddlywinks. Do you live in a castle guarded by a dragon? How did you guess? asked Periwinkle. Our baby pony did rescue the princess from a dragon at last. Only it was Spike, said Hopscotch to Majesty. Majesty just smiled.